Yeah, yeah. Yes, you are. My PR should have sent you everything. Okay. Well, yeah. What email would it have came from? It came from uh, Lanisha Patterson. I mean, I didn't see anything come across with your name on it. So. I did. You did? On mm -hmm. real time? Pretty sure. Okay, let me put it in. I know I've been talking to her back and forth, but I didn't see mm -hmm. anything. We are live. Yep, got it. All right, everybody, welcome, 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 welcome to the After Dark with Malcolm and Lisa show on Real Talk 100 Radio. We missed y'all. This, this week be killing me, Lisa. It be <laughs> killing me. I wish we could go live every day. Are you kidding me? Nope, I'm not. Every day I wish we could go live from the studio. But I, the way our lives set up, you understand, we can't be here all day every day. Whatever so, you drink in past. One of these uh, days, you know what, I ain't even had nothing to drink yet. <laughs> I ain't had nothing to drink yet, but I'm going to go get me something in a minute on the next commercial break. I promise you that. I promise you that. A.D. Green is in the building. A.D. Green is an independent music artist that hails right here from Houston, Texas. The man has a story to tell. I've done my homework on him. He's got a story to tell, and we're going to get it all tonight to our listening audience. We're getting a little bit of a late start. We've got another guest coming in shortly, and we'll probably do a night of the round table thing with A.D. Green and her. She is Lady Nate on the ground. She's one of the hottest promoters in all of Houston, Texas. She'll probably be on the panel here soon. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much for joining us on the After Dark with Malcolm and Lisa show on Real Talk 100 Radio. We air every Monday night and every Wednesday night from approximately 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock. It depends on how many interviews we have. Most of the time it's just going to be from 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock, but sometimes we do go over. Y'all check us out either via our website, just go to that website, go to that damn thing and hit the play button and you can listen to us live or you can listen to either one of our live feeds. We're on After Dark with Malcolm and Lisa on Facebook and Instagram. We're on Real Talk 100 Radio on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We're going to go ahead and get it deep up into this interview starting in three seconds. One, two, three. Okay, that three seconds went by kind of fast. What's up, A.D. Green? What that is, hey, man? hey, what's up, fam, man? Just a wonderful thing, man, to just be able to be in the building. You know what I'm saying? Representing Real Talk Radio 100, man. You know, uh, man, you know, it's been a beautiful experience. Just back on the grind out here, man. Everybody know, man, A.D. Green. Switch a high legend. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I done put it down. I'm talking about all on the north, all on the south, Texas. I'm talking about up north. You know what I'm saying? It's universal, man. Yes, sir. So just back out here, man. Just look. Just a blessing to be free again, man. The best thing is being alive and free, man. I know it. So that's man. what it is, man. I know it. It's my one year uh, uh, anniversary. You know what I'm saying? They've been gone on a, on, on a 14 and a half, man. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing, man. 14 flat? 14 and a half flat, man. I think we talked about that before, man. That's why we're yes, related sir. so tight, man. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yes, sir. We'll talk about it again. We'll talk Kurt, about it again. Kurt, Kurt. Um, um, we, I, a bit, while you're on that subject, I got hit on it one time, man. On. When we kicked it before, we kicked it before in our other studio, we had to move over here. We kicked it over there, man. We kicked it, I don't know, for about 10, 15, 20 minutes. But I didn't know, I didn't see, I didn't have the knowledge of the long walk, man. Tell me about the long walk. I didn't know about the long walk, the last walk, until I did yeah. my homework on Instagram, man. Tell us about how it felt, man. I mean, you know, man, the, the long walk basically symbolizes, man, when you make your last walk out of the penitentiary, you know. When you're making that last walk, knowing that this is all over, it's all, it's all behind you. I'm, I'm saying, like, everything that you've been, you've been waiting for, the anticipation, it's everything, man, that you expected is, is happening now. Yes, sir. So it's like, I'm here now, and I waited for this moment. Yes, sir. So the last walk, that's what it symbolizes, man, and I, I didn't pretty much uh, use that as like a tagline for me, you know, uh, to do a uh, documentary, to do a book, named it The Last Walk, because that's my last walk during time, you know, being in, inside a, a, a TDCJ, man. Yes, sir. You know, and... Uh, Everything else is ahead of me, and everything else is behind. behind this in the past, man. So I'm just focused on on, on pushing ahead, man. Like I say, man, I've been very uh, uh, ambitious on my grind. Uh, uh, you know, man, uh, uh, 
no blink attitude. Yes. Just pushing the envelope, man. It's just like these are the moments that you prepare yourself for, you know, in the cell, man. Woo, man. Pacing back and forth, what I'ma do, how I'ma do it. Yeah. Uh, 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 time frames, goals being checked. You, you know? ain't got to think about it no more. So that's that's, that's what all that went through my mind, man. At the time, man, I'm finally here, man. This this is where I'm supposed to be. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's the last walk. Man, I loved every step of it. I took it with you. I even had a tear two in my eye, man. I even had a tear two. Everybody who's listening to us on our live feed. Everybody who's listening to us on our live feed or listening via our live our live feeds or on our Instagram or Facebooks or on our website, the last walk has to do with the man took a walk from the inside of the walls and his homeboy recorded it the whole time. I want you to give a shout out to that homeboy too, man. That homeboy yeah. was happier than you was, man. Yeah. Give a yeah. shout out to your boy, man. Yeah, that's my brother, man. That was my little brother, man, experiencing that moment with me, man, because uh, he done time out, so, so he was just definitely uh, capturing that epic moment, you know. And like you say, uh, he felt like he, he got free again, you know what I'm saying? So he definitely was a hype man, you know. And I'm feeling it together, man. So man, I feel. I'm man. telling you, man. He got tears out of me, man. He got tears out of me, cause, cause I know how it feels, man. I know how it feels being incarcerated, and it feels like it feels better than sex, man. When you get what? up out of there, I ain't lying, man. <laughs> I ain't hey. lying. I ain't hey, explain lying. The feeling, huh? You can't <laughs> explain it to anybody who hasn't experienced it themselves, man. I'm telling you that. Here you go, okay. Our next guest is in the building already. Lady Nate on the ground. We'll get to her. We'll get to her shortly. She's one of the hottest promoters, music promoters in all of Houston. Lady Nate, this is A D Green. I don't know if y'all have met before. Thank you so much for, for coming. Um, we'll get you something to drink here shortly. Back to A D Green. That last walk, better than sex. Better no, than it sex. No, it ain't. Yes, it is. Better than past sex. Ha! <laughs> you know, like. It's, it's like you say, man, it's moments that, that, that time that you do time for, man, and it's like, I did this whole stretch, 14 and a half, some dudes, you know, they get lucky six months a year, but to be able to just be behind them, man, and to lose everything, and to just still uh, uh, come from the bottom, just being at the top again, man, or right. on your way to the top, right. You know, like you say, man, that's a beautiful feeling, man. Cause yes, I'm, I'm here out here. I'm, I'm out here again, man. Yes. Sir. And it's like nothing can stop me. Skies have no ceiling, you know. Right. No ceiling. So they made a song about that. No ceiling. Who made that song, that. man? Talk Who made that up, song, up, man? Up. Got me yeah, feeling man. what? Really? Man, man, yeah, man. Yeah. I hate. It. Got you feeling brilliant, man. I love it. I love it. I love to see. Uh, I love to see men free mm -hmm. from bondage. And like I, like I said, man, I don't want to dwell on it too much, but you had me in tears, man, walking that last walk, man. And salute one more time to your boy, because he the one had me crying, because he was happy that you was, man. Shout out to him one time. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's J. Real McCoy, man. My little brother, man. Your little brother? Your blood brother? Yeah, your blood, bro. Awesome. Awesome. Hype, man, man. Awesome. I loved, let's move on. I loved how you got out and went straight to work. Straight to work, man. I didn't. I met you. What was that? What was that? A year ago? Maybe yeah, eight, nine months ago. About nine months. That was like right when I had the months on my leg. Remember we was pressing for time. Mm -hmm. Yes, so sir. Y'all did y'all grand open. Right, right. And you pressed for time. Open. You had to get up out of there. Yeah. Man, you went straight to work. Got right up in the mix like pancake mix, man. I loved it, man. I've been watching you on Instagram. Let's talk a little bit about your hit single, man. You got with Paul Wall, man. Let's talk about that, man. How did you get in the mix with Paul Wall like that, man? I mean, you know, man, that's that's the homie, man. That's the bro, man. We we been knowing each other, man, since we was teens, man. That that's back in the game. Uh, uh, Swisher Highs, uh, comedian now, Paul Wall. You know what I'm saying? You got the whole, you know, camp, you know. So we was always real, real, real cool and had a good relationship, man. So I used to hit the bro up when I was in there, you know. You know, uh, you know, and now, man, everything goes. So I had my little uh, way, you know, reach out and touch him. Right. So I I, right. I, I I hit him up, man, you know what I'm saying, on the FaceTime. Yeah. And we're just like, man, you know, man, uh, I will be out soon, man. Just remember, man, I'm trying to do some music with you again, you know. Because, you know, we haven't done no music since Switch Eyes. We was always on the same compilation album, but we never just really got on the song together. Gotcha. So he, the bro was like, man, yes, anything, man, whatever, just, just hit me. So you know, like I know. When somebody say that, it sound good, it's but man, good. when we gonna see when I come home, right. 
he kept his word, man. And I got out. I reached out to him and told him, man, hey, I need to get you on this song, man. And then he said no more, man. That was around the pandemic, you know, and uh -huh. everybody was kind of like stuck in the house and didn't do too much. So studio time is if you had own, your own studio or something like that. So I send the, I send the, I send the track to him, man, and then we made history, man. And, uh, uh, shout out to 12 G's. 12 G's was on the beat, the dude out of San Antonio, man. And, and the way he sampled that song when I first heard the track, it had one of my old verses on the sample. And it was like, oh, that's something DJ Michael Watts had did. You know what I'm saying? Back in the gap. Yeah, and that's, that's me on now. So he like, uh, you're going to like this. And I liked it. And I said, y'all got to get Power Wild on this hill. So that's what happened, man. The rest was history, man. And we, we did the video. You know, man, in the video, uh, uh, shout out to uh, Collision Collision Magic, man, on the video. And, and, and uh, we had almost like 400,000 world, uh, world I saw star that. views. I saw that. I saw star. that. So, uh, single still doing good, man. The views still doing good. What's the name of that song? It's called Crawling on Great. Crawling on Great. Where Future can they find it right now? Where can they, they find it? They can find it on all major streaming sites, all the way from your Spotify's to your I, uh, iHeart Radios. So anything that has to do with the platform, streaming platform, man, it's on there, man. You can get it. And uh, just put in I am a, just put AD Green in and call out. That shit pull up, man. Before I get to my next question about Slim Thug, about DJ Michael Watts, I'm telling you, man, I did my homework. I've been stalking you, oh, okay. man. Okay. I've been stalking you, man. Okay. I, you pitch it up with everybody, mm -hmm. man. I'm jealous of you, mm -hmm. man. I'm just, nah, I'm just playing with you, man. Before I get to that, man, I got to ask you one thing. When, when you was sending the kite out, to Paul Wall and he was hitting you back. And I know you was in there capping, man. What was the haters <laughs> what was the haters saying to you, man? Man, oh, shut man. up, man. You lying, man. Well, I oh yeah, you done time, so so yeah. I, I can yeah. tell you yeah. right there with me. I can feel yeah. the energy. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, man, you gonna have your naysayers, man, and you gonna have your uh, your haters and stuff, man, that that jealous of you just cause you're swag or whatever, you know, cause even you be locked up, that don't mean that you lost your persona, you know what I'm saying? You ain't lost your image to you. They try to degrade you and take your, your humanity away from you, but you still stand out like a sore stone. So the swag was always there. So, you know, you always gonna have that envy and jealousy, but I never let it stop you and get in the way of it. You know what I'm saying? And what I was doing. So you had some bro that was happy for me, like, yeah, okay, you talk power wild. Yeah, okay, you, you mess with Slim Thug. Okay, I hear your music on the radio. So, you know, all that, man, that, that, that's, that's human nature. Oh, the music you know was playing on the radio? Oh, yeah, 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 you can get, you can get a lot of the, uh, the channels, man. On, on the radio, man. Okay. So, a lot of y'all fans too, man. If, if y'all uh, uh, radio too, man, they they they, they, they would like to hear that they, they underground, that underground, the music, man. That's what they do. And, you know what I'm saying? As me as uh, being a, a resident at a point in time, I always look forward to that, man. But most definitely, a lot of like you say, a lot of them was happy for me, but a lot of them didn't like that too, man. But you know, I you know it. I know it. Who was in the pudding though? Who had you on? Was you ever on? Was you ever on? Um, uh, 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 Street Flavor TV in the middle of the night. You know we used to stay up late and watch that. Come on, was man. You, come on, man. Now? Come was on, man. You know I was, man. You know <laughs> I was. They hated that, didn't they, man? That's D Solo. D Solo, exactly. D Solo, man. Shout out to exactly. D Solo, Street Flavor, man. He had always. Uh, we look forward to hearing, uh, uh, watching it, man, on a, on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That was it, man. And uh, also, uh, uh Hot TV. Hot TV was pretty live too. I never watched that one. I that was watched. pretty live at the time. It's our age too. time? Yeah, it was our age time, man. I missed that one. Yeah, it kind of, it kind of in and out. Mm -hmm, right now, or back in the gap? That's around the time Street Fighter was jumping. Okay. All that still was jumping, but you had, right after that, my brother stayed up to watch Street Flavor, but then they came back and watched Hot TV next. Okay. So all of it was kind of like, you know, in, in, you know, running, running with each other in court, so. Okay, okay. Man, I know they were hating you, man. In the middle of the night, we just stayed up late. Man, boss, man, can we watch Flavor T Street Flavor TV? <laughs> and, and then here, here come AD Green on the TV. Now, where was you? Where was you located at? West Texas. Oh uh, man, Texas I've been Center? to I've been to like five different prisons, man, in Texas, man, all the way from your uh, started out at your uh, Telford unit. That's why you're in New Boston, Texas. Ooh, you was rock and roll, no doubt. Yeah, that was one of my first units I hit. All the way back to your East Ham and Huntsville, you know, and uh, from Huntsville, you went to, you got your Smith. They sent me way up to La Mesa, Texas. West Texas. That's West Texas. That red dirt in and, your uh, nose. And from there, I went to. Uh, <laughs> and it ain't no fun. Uh, it ain't from, no fun, yeah, Kate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, red, they have they have snowstorm. Excuse me, they have sandstorms out there. 
just like, you know, it's a windstorm, but the sand is so loose that it's, it goes all in your nose. All in your nose. It's terrible. You, you close your windows, it still seeps up under the window seat. It's, it's, it's terrible. It's, Never seen sometimes, like sometimes really, they don't really have no season when they do it. They come in season. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, that I dealt with that. From that, I went to Bill Clements. Real, it's real cold there. Right. All this kind of like the panhandle. Right. So, I got word I made parole from Bill Clements, and they sent me to a program at the Cofield. Cofield. That's in Palestine, Texas, man. Okay. From now, I made parole. I had to take the program, and I walked that last walk, man, through the walls. Okay. So, that's 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 what had me crying, y'all. That's what had me crying. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just go to AD Green. I think it's I am AD Green. I am AD Green. You can find me on all social medias on I am AD Green. And scroll down a little bit on Instagram. And anybody who has ever done any amount of time will completely relate with Malcolm being in tears because man. The man came out of the came out uh, came out of that door with his bags in his hand and his homeboy had a live I think it was a live video going and he walked through with his bag and the whole time his homeboy was man my boy my boy free my boy free I mean he was he was happier than AD Green was and I couldn't do nothing but bust a tear to man I appreciate you coming tonight man I appreciate you coming tonight and I love to see you free man love to see you free let's move on to. Lighter subjects, man. Lighter subjects, okay, music. Okay, okay, we talked okay. about crawling on gray already. Let our listening audience know a little bit about the other music you got out. How can they go on and listen to that music tonight? Okay, man. Uh, you can, uh, like I said, you can catch me on all the major streaming sites, man. And I am AD Green. But also, you can find me on your Spotify, all your major platforms, man. Uh, just, uh, you know, get my channel, man. And you can find out you can get the, uh, the crawling on gray. You can get the Money Shot, the Money Shot Remix with Dollar Cat. You can also, uh, my new single, I'm doing a listening party on July the 17th. July where 17th. I'm going to be premiering okay. a lot of my stuff at the address. Okay. Uh, Lonely Nights in the Cell is pretty much my story. I'm telling my whole story, like, you know, all the way from the, uh, the beginning to the end. So that's that's like one of my, my, my liveest bangers right now, man. What is it again? It's Lonely Nights in a Cell. Lonely Nights in a Cell. Why are you going to have it crying again, all oh, right? Oh, yeah, it's emotion. Oh, so man. Let's talk about it's July real. 17th, man. I don't want to cry right now, man. Uh, hey, man. Real G's cry. Yeah. Real brothers cry. You man. Know? Real men cry. Behind. Real men. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Real women. A lot, men, a lot of men think it's weak, though, but I don't. <laughs> if a man cries in front of me, to me, that is like yeah. bees knees. No, nah. I, mean, really, I ain't gonna do too so much. Ashamed of it, and it's like, why are you ashamed? I, I, to me, that is just you cry in front of me. I'll do anything you want. Oh hell! Okay, hey, hell, she ain't never break. told me that. We, <laughs> hey, I'm gonna start crying every day. <laughs> start. To hey. a certain degree, man. <laughs> See, a lot of men will tell you that they don't cry, but when they tell themselves, they cry. Right. They, oh just, man, we get along. Image that they put up, you know. I sit alone in my fourth corner room. When they by themselves and them, like to say the walls close in, believe me, it's some tears being shed. All the time. They don't want their homeboys to see. Exactly. Exactly. They think they're weak or something, you know. Man, you know what it is. You know exactly what it is. Let's talk about the address, though, man. Let's talk about the address on July 17th, man. What do you need people to do for you on July 17th? Look, July 17th is going down, man, at the address, man. I'm talking about, man, one of the hottest spots in Houston. Going to be turned up, man. We're going to have the, uh, the bottle girls there, man. We're going to be popping bottles all night. We're going to have sections jumping out. We're going to have the merch jumping. We're going to have, uh, you know, all our uh, some more uh, guest lists. We might have some some superstars come through which you might not know about. I ain't going to say their names. All right. All right. All right. All right. Baby Daddy might be in through. the building. Ah, you know listen to her down now. And, um, which one? Baby daddy just moved to Houston. What do you mean? What's <laughs> talking about, I'm talking about 50 Cent. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you might have to go collect that child support. Uh, <laughs> Make another baby something. Oh, really, Lord. Huh? Oh, Lord. <laughs> but, uh, we start now, man. We started from the address. And we're going to, you know, like I say, you're going to premiere some new music and have a good time, man, and just celebrate. And know, uh, from now, I'm going straight to Dallas. I'm going to Pleasant Grove. I got a, a, a show out there I'm going to be doing and, uh, with George Lopez. A lot of sponsors coming out. It's going to be a big block party. 
I think you probably saw it on my page. The, I saw uh, it. The black mangoes. I stuff. was going to, yes, sir. I was going to bring that up. You got a whole itinerary, about right. 10 different, uh, either 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 podcasts or interviews or, or showcases, I mean, concerts, whatever. Right. Uh, you had a whole card. I'm telling you, I've been stalking you, man. You, yeah, man. You're I mean, going to be all over the place. Shout yeah, out to my. P- <laughs> He's like, look, this man is working. Yeah. Shout out to my PR and Nene too, man. She putting in a whole lot of work, man. I'm accepting it too, man. I'm ready to work, so we're working together. Um, like I say, uh, we leaving from Dallas. Then we gonna come on back to San Antonio, and then we coming back to Corpus Christi on the 27th. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's the uh, then and now tour. Okay. The old, the old. Then and now tour. The then and now tour. The old Swisher House with the OGs, and then some new Swisher House. So we call it, we named it the, 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 the Dean and Now Tour. Okay. okay. And that's going to be in Who going with you? Who going with uh, you? going to have uh, DJ Michael 5000 Watts in the building with me. Um, Highway Yellow in the building. That's the new uh, Swiss Eye. We got Magno, the one that used to be with Mike Jones. Um, you got uh, you got Lil Mario, which is another legend. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, a bunch of just the Swiss Highs, the OGs is going to be there, man. I didn't know what to do on Instagram because I wanted to tag, I wanted to say, you know, an alumni of the original Swisher House. Mm-hmm. But when I did that, the new Swisher House came up. So I left it off. I just hashtag Swisher House. Right, right. Because I didn't, and I still tag Highway Yellow. Mm-hmm. I've been seeing him make moves too. Okay. I, fi- I figured y'all was tight. Oh, yeah. Give a shout out to him, man. Y'all done any, compl- any, any collaborations? Oh, man, I forgot to tell you about that, man. Come on with it. You holding out. Me and Highway Yellow, man, we just did uh, a song called After the Corona. And we did, the, uh, we shot the video for it, man. You can go to YouTube. You can check out uh, Highway Yellow and you can see the video we did, man. The video was live, shot by Hot Topics. You know, man, uh, A.D. Green doing what A.D. Green do, man, you know, spit and represent, you know what I'm saying, being the richer. So, uh, just did that. That's pretty lit. Came back. Uh, my video, Money Shot, coming out soon. That's just something for, like, you know, like for the clubs, for the strippers and stuff like that. I call it Money Shot, you know what I'm saying? You done time, you know what that means. Yeah. You looking for that Money Shot. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah. You don't want no nickels. <laughs> you don't want no pennies. You want you want the whole dollar bill. Right, right, yeah. right. So that video was coming getting ready to drop also. So man, just a whole bunch of work, man. Just staying busy, man. You know? Right, right. Push it. Man, look here. Look here. Let's go back to the money shot one time. <laughs> hey man, you ever watch the All Star game? Anybody in here? I know she ain't. Anybody in here watch the All Star game? K Nate, you watch the All Star game? Man, they shoot them three balls, right? Don't now ball count. Don't none of them matter. Except for the money ball. But when that money ball hit, <laughs> you know it's yeah. Swish. Yeah. I'm talking yeah. about yeah. big facts. Yes, sir. Big money. Yes, sir. That money ball so, adds yeah. up every time. Every That's time. That's the shot we need, man. Right yes, there. Sir. That shot right there. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I'm hoping we have your music lined up already. We need to get to your music, let our listening audience listen to your jam one time, and then we need to get back to the interview so we can get on to Lady Nate on the ground, man. Um, Lisa, are you ready? DJ Vilios, are you ready? Always ready. Don't go on tell me. Don't tell me. Don't run your mouth. Are you ready, ma'am? That means no. So I, that yeah, I'm means ready. I need to keep I'm running ready, my mouth. It's not here. ready. Huh? It's not ready. Okay. I'm no problem. Ready. No you problem. Know, no problem. You know, we keep this interview going. We sure can. You know, man, I'm built for it, brother. We you know sure can. We sure can. You got, you said Corpus Christi's coming up. 22nd, man. If I'm in your town, I'm in your city, make sure you come out, man, and rock with AD Green, man. You switch your eyes, man. Corpus Chris is going down, San Antonio going down. Uh, uh, more than anything, man, at D-Time, man, I got to show love to D-Time, man. It's like my second home. So we talking about we going to show up and pull up over there, man. Yeah. Show up and pull up in yeah, D-Time. Yeah, man. Yes, sir, AD. I know exactly what you feel, man. I know exactly what you're feeling. I know exactly where you're coming from, man. Tell me one time, who inspired you to man. get in the rap game? Was it Thug? Good question. Good question. Was it Thug? Was it Too Short? Way back in the game. I can't really say Thug because we Thug came in right before me. We came in kind of like together. Right. He right before me. Right. You know what I'm saying when we same class, but I always looked up to him too. But what inspired me to write music? I have to say, I started doing talent shows, but I had done my first play back in the gap. And uh, the, the, the applause that I got after doing my theater arts play, it's like man, I'm on that stage, man, and I, and I didn't know to know. This way you can come alive at, you feel me? Yep. 
So man, that, that just kind of like sparked me right there. But to do the music, I gotta say Scarface, man, and the Ghetto Boys. Man, you know, they some pioneers, man. You yeah. know, just to see them doing their thing, and then the North really didn't really. I'm talking about like Houston really wasn't really just on like that. The North was always the capital of hip hop. Right. We had the West Coast, but nobody was making noise down south. Nope. So what them brothers did, yeah. you know, uh, Uncle J, man, shout out to Lil J, man, you know what I'm saying? So what they did, they took the game, man, and put us on the map, man. So they was definitely the blueprint of yeah. AD Green. Yeah. Scarface was my favorite, yeah. you know, so that kind of like sparked me. But then, you know, then you had the fast rapper era also kind of like, it, it, you know, it recycles itself, you know? Mm -hmm. So Bone Thugs, I, I, I like to think kind of like, they kind of right. like sparked me too, you know? Scarface, definitely, definitely. Tupac, I was more on Scarface, man. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you my Scarface story, and we are gonna get to your music in just a second, man. Okay. Scarface had me so much like this, man. So wrapped up like a aluminum foil, man. That when Zero hit, I didn't know which way to run, man. Z Zero became my favorite artist, man. Mm -hmm. But I was, he was. Ooh, he was ripping at my heartstrings, man, because I didn't know which way to go. I'm like, man, I'm scarred face for life. That's how I grew up, man. Right, right. Plus, right. I'm, plus I'm from Fifth Ward. Plus, I'm from Fifth Ward, right off lines and Kellis, man, behind McDonald's, man. So, okay. so I'm, you know, y'all hollering Fifth Ward and y'all rolling through here with Bushwick and all that. That's all I wanted to do. Right. Was wrap me some scar faces and some Willie D and some Bushwick Bill now. So here comes the rope. Well, I was like, dang. <laughs> he yeah, fucked him up. He yeah, fucked him up. Yeah, he fucked him up. Yeah, he fucked bro, him bro, up. Bro, bro, bro. Shout out to Rope. Shout, Shout out, out to Scarface. Uh, matter of fact, Rope, when you think about it, I was locked up with somebody that Rope looks up to. Who was that? Pharaoh. All right. You All see, right. see, when you think about Pharaoh, I mean, you think about street military, that's what you understand, that's where Zero got his style from. Right. And he'll tell you, like, I was raised off of street military. Yeah, he'll tell so you that quick. Know, so he got his style and his swag from Pharaoh. Okay. And I was locked up with Pharaoh, man. So, man, I hope the brother get out pretty soon, man, or whatever, yeah. But uh, Ro just took it to another level, man. And, and you know, he's doing some great things. I look forward to working with him. Also, uh, gotta give a shout out to Trader Truth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, all day, every day. I was just at his listening party, and, and we, you know, chopping it up, we were doing that stuff, man. So I, I got a lot of little things that's in the, that's in the making, man. Okay. A lot all of right. little artists, man. We gonna, we gonna get to your music right now, but I gotta tease everybody in here right quick. Everybody show doing a lot of sipping, man. When y'all gonna knock these drinks out? Look, K, K over here sipping. You sipping. You, why y'all? Why y'all still fighting? I'm coming through the straw. I'm just teasing y'all, man. How is everything tasting? Everything good so far? Everybody who comes to our studio for an interview, whether you're a business person or whether you're an underground music artist or the crew, just don't bring no 30 people up here now. But if you got two, three people with you, we got you on one daiquiri. Um, we want our daiquiris to stay in everybody's taste buds until we're able to reopen. We are paying homage to our business that is temporarily closed down. That so y'all check us out on Instagram and Facebook. We'll be back soon. But until then, bam, come on up here, get you an interview, and take some of our daiquiris. Let's get to AD Green's music and let's take a short intermission, and we'll be right back to the After Dark and Not Music Show. Green, we still crowning on great. Come on. 
sides great Swinging through the fourth wall, riding down great If money is the destination, I am on the way No matter the time of day, I'm always getting paid Head turn a block, burn a knot, don't play Catch a play, catch a fade, got to throw away Turning his daily move, bitch, get out the way and get me room Cause I'm coming through, baby, what it do? AD in the ocean blue, sipping on the two Sideways and I'm looking good, gotta keep it true Getting money till I'm in the grave, it ain't nothing new This one for the slab ride, right? swing wide, pop trunk This one for the slab ride, right? swing wide, pop trunk Yo, you know what I'm talking about? It's Power Wow, and I'm still breaking boys off, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And most of our listening audience know what crawling on gray means. Most of our panel here knows what crawling on gray means. But you know, we got, I ain't gonna call them squares or nothing. <laughs> but we got some folks, we got some folks that sitting out there saying, man, what the hell crawling on gray mean, man? So explain it to them one time. Hey, 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 man, you, you be asking some of the realest questions, man, <laughs> because I know it. a lot of people, they need to be educated on this, man, as far as like the culture, man, that, you know, that we do in the city, man. So like you say, man, crawling on great for those that don't know. What that mean is you got the great pieces on the side of the slab. You coming down, you got the swangles, you got you, you, you crawling. You got the great insides or whatever. You know it's just your material, but it's it's your great pieces on the side. Now now they do chrome pieces, but it's still considered, you know, you, you got the gray on the side. So that's what that is, man. You crawling on great. You got a slab, and you, you got you got on you know on the side. You got some great pieces. You got, some, you got pieces on the side, and you crawling on great, man. So that's just a little history lesson, man. You got a slab coaching, man. Y'all don't know. Slab coaching, man. That's what I'm doing up in here, man. I want you to be my teacher, my instructor tonight, man. I appreciate that, man. Cause yeah. I, you you don't understand. I be getting some hell of a questions all about, man. All in my inbox, <laughs> man. I heard, I listened to your interview, but I didn't know what the hell y'all was talking about. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I got you know, I got white friends, I got black friends, I got I got Hispanic friends. Diversity, yeah. And, yeah, and some of them, you know, been in college and school all their life and don't understand that Malcolm. Uh, yeah, I, I, I try to do business now, but I come from the streets, man. Right, right, So right. some of the things we talk about, I don't talk about no more, but I know about them. I want you to know about them, so I'm going to teach you on my show, you know what I'm saying? So That's right, man. I try to educate every time we talk about something, man. We didn't, we didn't talk about some of everything on this show, some That's of everything. Good. So I appreciate that. Appreciate yes. that, man. Hey, let's go back one time to July 17th. Let's go back one time to Lonely Nights, and then I have to get to Lady Night on the ground, man. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's let our listening audience know that you want them to be at the address. Give them the address, the location. Give them what you're going to be doing there. Is it an album release, single release? What is it? It's a listening party. Basically, I'm going to be revealing and premiering some of my new music that's that's getting ready to drop. And uh, we're going to have our DJs, you know, turning on the ones and twos, spinning or whatever. So it's gonna be a live vibe, man. It's gonna be a live, live little feeling, man. Playing tracks. We got a, gonna have the hookers in the building. We got the music in the building. Food in the building, man. We got the party on the patio. This is gonna be a beautiful experience, man. So you know, just come out and catch us, man. Over there on the south side at the address. I want to say it's over there, like by uh, OST. OST, you know, in the area over there. Holman. Two eight, yeah, that's right. So man, y'all pull up, man. We're on the loudest spots in H town, man, on Saturday. We're gonna be rocking in there, man. Yeah, yeah, man. 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 Y
I believe this is Instagram. I forget which page I'm on, but tell him his PR is on here making sure he does well. Purple Princess 1989. Oh you yeah, know man. Who that you, know, is? you know we gotta give a special shout out to the girl Nene, man. You know she's oh, that's, working. That's the that's one that's we got email from. I already gave you a shout out already. That's my manager, man. You know, man, she's working real hard, man. You know, put a lot of my events together, a lot of my, uh, you know, my gigs and, and a lot of stuff that I'm doing, man. So definitely, she plays a major factor of, of AD Green, man. So shout out to the girl Nene, man. Yeah, yes. Right yes, sir. She says she's on here making sure you do well. She said it's a good interview. Keep shining, AD Green. That's Keep right, shining, man. man. No, Love it, man. Up. Love it when up. your team supports you, man. Love it at the depth. I got several people on here. I got somebody putting them down. What is that? A snake? Somebody named Freddie Mags underscore up next. I think that's a snake. What are you trying to say, Freddie Mags? Talk to me. Talk to me. Inbox. Talk to me on here. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I'm just trying to pay. Could be a symbol. Could have hit the wrong button. I understand that. Thank you so much for coming tonight, man. We got one more subject, and I got to get to Lady Nate on the ground. That's that Lonely Nights, man. Let's talk about Lonely Nights. Let's go back to the cell block one time, man. Let's put everybody in our listening audience in the mindset of A.D. Green when he wrote this song. Man, you know, when I wrote this song, man, I remember like it was yesterday. I was right on um, Bill Clemens, and I was going through hell, man, and I was like, at the time, man, you know, I was a sick. You know, the sick is segregation where everybody, like, you isolated from everybody. And I think I was on one of my down times, man. And, and But, you know, when you in there, you try to find something that, you know, that can keep your spirits going and keep moving. Yes, sir. So for me, man, I had the radio, and I always had them tunes in my head, and I had my hand and my pen in my pad, man. So I was like, okay, lonely nights in the seal, man. Let's, let me see, let me see how I can spread light to my audience but tell my story in the same time. Same time. So I put my lyrics on pen and pad and kind of like cried my soul out. Right. To try to speak, you know what I'm saying, to express how I was feeling at the time. Because like I had like a lot of uh, uh, sight patients around me, man. Hollering and screaming. And, and, and you know, I'm throwing this piss tear, on. This yeah. tear gas. Yeah. And piss and you know all type of uh, you yeah. know you know how it is feces and crazy You're stuff. You trying to keep your sanity. A bunch of cray cray, man. I'm yes, like sir. I'm like God, oh, man. Hey, come on, man. Yes sir. You see what I'm going through, man. It's yes, holding me together. Yes sir. So for me, man, that was just my escape time. Therapy time. Right. So gotcha. I put it together, man, and it, and it came out so well. But I was wondering, like, how how I'm gonna put it on a, a beat? Like, what kind of track I'm gonna put it on? Like, so that was one of my biggest things. So what I did was I kind of blind wrote it. I blind I wrote into a track. All I had was the rhythm in my head. So a lot of a lot of people don't understand that, but sometimes you can write out the music and, and, and or you can kinda like whatever tune you want and try to put it together. So when I when I did get out, it was kind of a challenge to try to see what tune, what song or whatever, what, what, what instrument can match what I'm talking about to bring it to life, you know. Okay. It's kind of like the soul type of music, like like Mary J, like how she made it, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. But then once you got, uh, if you look at my eyes, kind of like some soul music like this, so that, that, that I had to find like the trap, the track that would go okay. show the shit, you know, in the darkness, man, but she liked the dark. Okay. So I find the right track after like a couple of attempts, man. And that's when we came over on the nice and said, man. That's it. So what did you do? Did you write it and send it to your music producer, or did you wait till you got out to release it? I put it in the vault. Put it in the vault. What I call the vault is, man. I put it in my folder. I know. I know all about it. I know all about that folder. Man. <laughs> put it in the folder. And I made sure before I uh, took that last walk, he was with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, man, in so, the yeah. vault was lonely nights in the boat until he got out and you released it when you got out. Right, so you right. released that and Crawling on Great? I did Crawling on Great first and, and Lonely Nights and Seal came next. Okay. Money Shot came next, then Crawling on Great. Okay. No, hold on, my bad, I'm sure you Crawling on Great, Money Shot, and then Lonely Nights and Seal in that order right there. In that order? Yeah. Tell our listening audience one more time where they, can, where they can find all this music right now. And before you answer that question, I want you to tell our listening audience 
what the best song is because a lot of people they'll hear all three songs but they say man fuck that I want to hear the best one <laughs> yeah, that's me that's me I want to go right. to the best one because I'm busy mm -hmm. so I'm gonna go to the best one tell them what the best song is in your opinion man you really want me to be honest man it's yes, another sir. song that I haven't really talked about with me and uh, Nene the per the purple princess also she's a musician and she's a uh, she a uh, poetry so it's like I have a poetry track and her and uh it's kind of like put you in a lauren hill travis scott you know a uh, type of you know uh, uh, arena man so that's one of my favorites also and it's you know uh me and her we did that track man that's one of my favorites on the uh, album but lonely nights in the cell is definitely the banger because it tells my story and it's deep man lonely nights in the cell yeah that's the one you'll say is the best one where can they go right now and click play Okay, man, uh, July 17th, you can get it. It's be streaming on all major streaming sites. It'll be streaming on all the way from your Spotify. If you have a Spotify account, you can get it. iHeartRadio, the SoundClouds, you know, it'll be on all major uh, streaming sites, man. So Not till July 17th, though. July the 17th is when okay. I'm going to premiere that one. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But what I have right now is a radio snippet for y'all so you can get let the listeners hear so y'all get some exclusives. I knew I was forgetting something. I knew I was forgetting something, but I gotta get a hug, man. Ain't it's cold. You gotta leave. You gotta leave right now. I gotta nah, get the hug. Good. Go ahead, man. You good? We I'm gonna rock, get. I'm gonna get the out. hug. And before this show is over with tonight, at approximately ten thirty or so, I want you to tell a little knowledge about that podcast you got, man. I told you I've been stalking. <laughs> I told you I've been stopping hey, you, man. You say about 10, I might have to go. I got some other things to do, man. I, I knew I was going to Can I get it? Just tell them real quick, real, real quick, real quick. Man, I got a podcast, man, called The Real Culture. And basically, man, The Real Culture is uh, is doing well. So I'll, uh, uh, you can read it on uh, your YouTubes. You know, it's me, Vic, and uh, uh, John Allen. And basically, man, when we talk about The Real Culture, man, we enlighten the masses about cultures in the city and you know in Texas or just all the way around. We drop political views on things going around the world, hip hop, uh, trending topics, celebrity gossip. It's all mixing one big gumbo pot, man. We talk about what other people are not talking about, you know what I'm saying? And we touch and, and we, we educate on our platform, man, on our uh, podcast. So gotcha. Stay in the brain, man. Gotcha. Leave a stain on the brain and leave you thinking about something. That's the real coach, man. I like that. That's a separate page from the real Lady Green, official Lady Green. Click the link in my bio and it'll take you right to there on my link tree. My link tree has all my uh all my uh my, my social media and all my, my different little platforms you can get. Okay. All so right. Subscribe to the channel, man. That's the real coach. All right, AD Green, it's been a real pleasure, man. It's been a real pleasure. I realize you have to get out of here, man. Thank you so much for blessing our panel tonight, man. Thank you so much for blessing our listening audience. On After Dark, we have a religious show on Real Talk 100 Radio, man. Much love to you, man. Much success. Thanks for having me, bro. You're welcome. We're going to try to gonna try to get to something. You know, you got a long list of places we can catch it. Um, anybody listening on the live feeds, anybody listening on uh, our Real Talk 100 Radio app, just go to his Instagram page. He's got a whole itinerary from June 12th, I believe, which is today, all the way until the 28th or something like that. Right. Well, he's going to be here. He's going to be there. Check out I Am AD Green on Instagram. This come, this uh, the interview comes to conclusion now. We're going to take a quick intermission and we're going to get to our next guest. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.